Uh, I think that the obstacle course is a great evolution, and I think a lot of people don't take advantage of it. The purpose of the water obstacle course is to help you identify your weaknesses. If you can't carry your weight, it's going to help you find momentum. If your upper body strength is not there, after doing it over and over again, you're going to end up building that strength up to make it through your evolution. I think that not just this obstacle course is water obstacle course, but any obstacle course. It's, it's great for agility. I mean, you can be a Navy SEAL. You can't just be good at one thing. You can't be good at two things. You have to be good at everything. The purpose of an obstacle course would be to test a person's uh, strength, their overall ability to overcome a fear, and their endurance. You know, when guys on the sideline are motivating you, yelling at you, telling you to get up that rope, get across that rope, you know, climb that ladder. Uh, so yeah, yes, and then no in the end because it's on your own to really dig down deep and pull out what you have inside you to complete the obstacle course. And my wounds will feel faster than my pride. You know, if you give up and quit, it's a huge check in the box for against your pride. So, you know, you got to get up there, you just got to put out, and you got to represent. So, your wounds and, and the temporary fatigue that you're going through, that'll, that'll come and go, but your pride kind of stays with you forever. I'm not getting off the absolute until my body fails. It makes me get off. And then I'm going to go right back up again and try it again until I actually cannot do it anymore, until my hands are bleeding. I, I just don't want to quit. I, I just think that if you can, if you're gonna quit on this little obstacle, how are you gonna do on other obstacles in life?